Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general daily message for Wednesday, August 15th, 2018. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. I just wanted to shout out to all my subscribers for all the beautiful comments as well as the likes and the donations to help support my channel. I do have a new donation. I just wanted to say thank you so much, Denise, for your uh, support for my channel. If anyone else is interested in donating, there is a dis uh, in the description box, there is a GoFundMe account uh, highlighted if interested. So I I'm telling you, <laughs> interesting spread. So many messages. I absolutely love this new uh, deck that I, that I got. Uh, it's amazing. There are so many different messages. It took me a minute to, to get it all together kind of feeling, okay? Now, there's, uh, like I said, there's, there's more than one message here, okay? So I'm just going to go with it and see if it resonates for anybody. I hope that this message helps somebody out there. Your first start off for today is the page of rods. So that page of rods is, is someone who is uh, in regards to communication. There's some type of communication, I feel, that someone has been waiting for for quite some time, I feel, with that Knight of Pentacles, okay? This person has been looking out towards their future. You see that yellow? That's that brighter future. It's kind of like they never gave up hope, okay? To be able to hear some type of message, I feel, that is going to change things with the death card here, okay? That's that transformation, and I clarified that with the Ten of Cups. So I feel that uh, the Ten of Cups is known for the happy home. So something in regards to the home, perhaps, or just that completion that changed things in regards to love, okay, of relationship, all right? Something that I feel that has been seriously shaking up, okay? You have the tower right after that. Now, here's where it gets a little funky, <laughs> to say the least. I clarified the tower card, and you come up with the nine of cups. So with this communication that somebody has been waiting for, that has seriously changed something, I feel, in regards to the home life or just that completion in regards to a relationship with the Ten of Cups energy, something got shook up, okay? But by doing that, it caused that wish fulfillment to come about, okay? Meaning, all right, this person has been patiently waiting. Here's the other message. This person has been patiently waiting to have some type of, here's that patience card, that temperance card, okay? Uh, they've been patiently waiting to communicate, okay? Uh, to have this change, to be able to communicate with that death card. Right underneath that death card, you have the five of swords. So the five of swords is known for that mental battling back and forth, back and forth in somebody's head, okay? To be able, this is clarified by that page of swords. So somebody has been mentally battling in their head to be able to have that change and communicate. That change is that communicate, okay? In regards to um, getting their wish fulfillment with that nine of cups, having that tower moment, okay? I'm going to explain the tower moment further once I explain the page of cups here right after that. This page of cups, which is that communication that somebody out there has been patiently waiting, battling with themselves in their mind to have that change, okay? In regards to communication, it's kind of like, okay, this has changed now, okay? I had this, this shake-up moment in my life. Something came to a completion. Something transformed, and now I'm able to refill my cup. They made me think of... Um, I was just watching um, on, on Hulu. I was, I'm, I'm into uh, Raising Hope, and they had this... Uh, this the scene where everybody was gathered around the water cooler having this conversation. I don't know why they're bringing that up, but that's what it's reminding me of. It's kind of like I'm refilling my cup. I'm refilling that cup that has been empty in regards to in regards to uh, emotions. Water in the tarot world is known for emotions, so it's time after quite a obstruction that took place. <coughs> Excuse me allergies. Uh, but it's kind of like the feeling that I'm getting is kind of like something seriously took place that this person has been waiting for to come to that completion in regards to a relationship. Meanwhile, they have somebody, they just said on the side, really, <laughs> sorry, but they have somebody on the side whom they have been thinking about battling to be able to express how they feel and talk to them. And they've been patiently waiting for this 
for this tower moment. Now that tower is two different ways is what I'm taking because it's right smack in the middle of my reading. Okay, so it can go, there's two different messages here. The one is that, that they are happy that this tower moment took place in their life because I clarified the tower with the nine of cups. With something that took place that came to a close is what I'm feeling here, okay? In regards to possibly a home life or a completion in regards to love, that caused that moment of that tower moment to get their wishes granted with that nine of cups, okay? Now with the, ten, with the page of cups, yeah, there's definite sadness, I feel, okay, in regards to a love situation. But what I'm really feeling here is that this was, this was done. This is what they dreamed of to, and I know that sounds really harsh, but it's kind of like I had to have this tower moment. I had to have this, this death, this transformation, this completion in order to have my wish fulfillment. And that wish fulfillment is standing by the cooler, <laughs> you know, and refilling that cup because I have this emotion for somebody else is what I'm feeling. And that page is that communication. So I feel that somebody now, after quite an ordeal of waiting patiently, has now have, does, I can't talk, sorry. Uh, Mercury retrograde, uh, but basically they are now able to fill that cup up with emotion and Offer it to someone with that communication and there's definitely movement now Okay with the chariot major arcana right above it is the eight of wands. So there's that fast movement. I mean this guy is like the uh, That movie I just I just saw a scene from it uh, back to the future It's kind of like he's just skydiving into the future of, uh, of this bright warm sun, of that yellow, of that promising future they just said. And it's kind of like they're moving at that fast movement. Absolutely. Th this is definitely screaming there is going to be some serious fast movement now. Okay. And I feel what this person is doing is going to communicate to someone. Now this is a people card. This is an air sign element. So you could be or you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But really for the overall energy of this, that eight of wands is that movement in regards to communication, in regards to movement. Absolutely. Both is what I'm feeling. They're going to communicate with that queen of swords energy and communicate to this person. You, this person basically has three pages here. There's a lot of communication that I feel that somebody's been waiting, battling in their mind to communicate. Okay. And I feel that now things have changed, which is part of their wish fulfillment for this change. They're refilling that cup. Okay of emotion and with that page that's that messenger to offer that cup of love and their emotions and they're coming on in like lightning speed like really really fast to have this communication so that way they can have that ace of rods so that's that new beginning that passionate new beginning quite an interesting spread a lot of different mem uh, messages here i know i was kind of all over the place what i'm feeling bottom line is this something took place in regards to somebody's life that ended a situation possibly with a home situation but for the overall energy of that ten of cups some type of completion came to a relationship okay with that cup energy meanwhile while this has been patiently waiting for this completion, this person has been mentally battling with themselves to have this conversation with somebody. Then all of a sudden, their life got erupt with that tower moment. But that tower moment, yeah, they do miss this person. It, it, it destructed their world, you know. But the feeling that I'm getting is, is that it turned into a good thing. I know that sounds warped. Because of that, if it wasn't for that nine of cups with the tower here, that destruction that took place of that completion from a previous relationship was actually a good thing. It made this person realize and be able to have their wish fulfillment now. And now they just said back in the game, really. <laughs> so now they're back in the game. They're filling up this one cup. That one cup is that offer of love. Okay, and it's emotional and they have a lot of emotion to express to someone and a lot of passion too is what I'm feeling, especially with that eight of wands or yeah, wands. And it's going to come in extremely swift. Okay, very, very fast, very, very fast. Okay, and that is in regards to communication and speaking this truth, uh, not just with that movement with communication, but 
you know, let's get together kind of feeling. Let's move. You know, there could be travel as well to rush in and see this person or get what they desire because that is their wish fulfillment, which is going to start with that communication with that Queen of Swords, which is going to lead to a totally new beginning, a passionate one at that. And this person now, they're showing me this, is that balance. They're getting that balance back. Uh, I feel they just said together, uh, both uh, people are getting their balance back once this communication comes in, okay? Interesting. <laughs> so outcome card is the star. So there's that wish, okay? And that wish is the four of cups. So there's that love offer that uh, somebody has this wish, this desire, very interesting spread. So I know it was a little complex, but quite an interesting spread to say the least. But I hope that this helps somebody. I hope that this resonates with somebody as well. Uh, please subscribe to my channel as well as click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies as well as dailies. Have a good one, guys. It looks like a good one for somebody out there. And I'll talk to you soon.